Good afternoon, this is Kilo Juliet 6, Golf Hotel November, and today we're going to work on exporting your logs via ADIF and then importing them and uploading them into QRZ, EQSL, and Club Log. So the first thing we're going to do using HRD is go to your logbook and then we're going to choose export and we're going to export ADIF. So you can choose ADIF only, you can choose to do with Ham Deluxe, that will give you additional information. I usually choose that one because it gives me more information in my logs. And you can choose to do all, which I have 997 entries in here. Or if you go over here and highlight entries, you can do the selected ones. So next you're going to find where you want to store it. I store it on my desktop and I'm going to name it Feb2015 and I'm going to do a save. That'll save it on my desktop. I've got everything set up and then we're going to choose export and it's exporting 997 QSOs and then I hit finish and then we've just created an ADIF file my ADIF file is represented by this icon on my desktop which says ADIF. It's 815 kilobits. So next, what we're going to do is going to go down here and we're going to go in and I've already signed into my club log. So you go into club log, you choose upload and then you choose the call sign you want and I've been to different places so I have different call signs and then you browse to where you kept the file it's February 2015 and I'm going to open it and then it'll begin to upload it and it can take a second or two depending on the connection speed all right, so next we're going to get to choose to clear existing, which would delete all your entries that are currently in club log, or choose to merge. The recommended is to merge it. So then it's telling me it's ready. There we go. And it tells me that it's in the queue to be deleted, and there contains five, oh, excuse me, six files ahead of me. So that's as simple as it is to go into and upload to QRZ. I mean, excuse me, club log. Now we're going to go to QRZ. I've logged in to my QRZ. And then I'm going to go to my logbook, which is Kilo Juliet 6, Golf Hotel November. And then under settings, it'll take you over there and tells you to import or export. You can export your ADIF file from here if you choose as well. But today we're going to import. So we're going to browse to February 2015. It's my ADIF file. And we're going to open it. And we're going to choose to import. Alright, now it shows me that my log file February 2015 ADIF has been uploaded successfully. Click continue and you'll go down here and you'll see where today it, it's been uploaded. So I've got 90 new QSOs out of that batch that are not duplicates that were imported. Alright so now that we've uploaded this into QRZ I'm going to minimize this and we're going to go back over to all right so we're going to go and set up your EQSL today so you go to configure and then you go EQSL.cc so you're going to put your username and your password these items have to be the username and password for your EQSL.cc accounts Make sure you check the upload every time. This way, you don't have to go there and import any files. It will automatically, as long as you have an internet connection, upload your files every time a log entry is made. It's that simple. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Kilo Juliet 6, Golf Hotel November 73.